Judge Joe Brown's all new barbecue sauce and seasoning, justice in the form of flavor. Law firms will take this as a retainer. What? It must be a law firm when they hungry as hell. Now you gonna help me with this parole I'm dealing with? Judge Joe Brown's all new barbecue sauce and seasoning, justice in the form of flavor. With one taste of our premium blends of all natural ingredients, herbs, and spices, mm, you'll fall in love with meat all over again. Judge Joe Brown's all natural barbecue sauce collection is made up of two zesty flavors, original and spicy. There's only one way to bring order back to barbecuing. Just add Judge Joe Brown's all natural barbecue sauce and seasoning and you be the judge. John Legend sat down with um, Peppermint Patty he said I call her Peppermint Patty she used to be the White House um, correspondent <laughs> but she got red hair and I took that from Ted Cruz because Ted Cruz coined, named her Peppermint Patty and he's calling Donald Trump a racist. And here's his explanation because he was going viral earlier today. One of the things that you hear from Trump supporters is that he signed the First Step Act in 2018. He's a partner in this effort. What do you say to people who say, oh, no, he, he, would, be, he would be an ally? Look what he did in 2018. He's, he's not been an ally. I mean, I think the First Step Act was fine. Uh, there, uh, it was a very kind of small reform. And to be honest, most of the reform we need is on the local and state level because uh, most incarceration is local and state. Uh, and most of the laws that end up uh, being criminally uh, enforced are local and state laws. That being said, uh, at the same time, you know, he's claiming credit for th those small things. He's also saying, you know, if people uh, are stealing something, they should get shot in the middle of the store. Uh, when we protested uh, the killing of George Floyd, he was uh, advocating for the military to shoot us in the streets. Um, uh, he's made it clear throughout his life that he believes black people are inferior. Mm -hmm. uh, like he believes that to his core in his bones. He wouldn't let us live in his buildings uh, back in the day. But also, uh, when you hear uh, some of the stray comments, that he clearly believes in a genetic hierarchy of mm -hmm. humanity and, and, and is racially uh, uh, determined. Uh, so he is a tried and true, uh, like, died in the wool racist. Like, in his the core of his being, he's a racist. So... I don't want to hear what he has to say about uh, what he's done for black people. He's done very little for us. And uh, he is at his core, truly, truly a racist. And uh, you even hear what he says about immigration and which countries he wants people to come in from. Uh, they all are very white. <laughs> that is true. That's something pretty universal about them. So I knew you were active on the campaign trail in 2020. Mm -hmm. You have a lot on your plate. Are you going to be out there campaigning for Joe Biden this yeah, fall? Yeah, we'll get out there uh, probably later in the year um, as, as, it, as it gets close to people making decisions about when it's time to vote. I think the choice is very clear. Um, we've uh, There's a lot been said about age and all these other things. Both of them are old. Uh, but one of them is a really uh, decent man who's done a lot to improve uh, lives in this country, and that's Joe Biden. That's who I'm going to be voting for, and I'll be out there supporting him. So I wanted to get your thoughts on that real quick. Who is this, who is this boy? Who is this boy? <laughs> He's a singer, John Legend. <laughs> I was white. I always thought he was white. Anyway, he hadn't paid any damn dues. Let me put it this way. Most of what is wrong with the criminal justice system in the United States of America that's trickled down from the federal level to the state level that negatively impacts blacks and other minorities was started off in 1979, 1981, 1983, 1987. Uh, 1991 and 1994, thanks to Joe Biden, Stennis, Eastland, and Byrd. And you can thank them for some of the problems with American criminal law as they negatively impact black folk. 
this mess about all of these people in jail, first offenders for one rock you can thank Joe Biden for with his mess about crack, even though it seems to have settled into his household uh, quite heavily. I heard the low-down scummy bastard say in front of me, it was in Dover, Delaware, he was on the podium, he said, quote, Negroes are animals, and they turn the streets into jungles, and they need to be put in zoos where they are safe and can be observed. He said, Negro children are animals, and they turn schools into zoos. And I, I don't want my children going to a school with Negroes, and it turned into a zoo. I heard him say that. I saw him when he said it. He's a liar. He had to withdraw from the presidential campaign in 1988 because he lied about his academic career. He got found early to have plagiarized some things that caused his expulsion from an academic institution. He's a piece of urban trailer park trash who's had nothing but government jobs his entire life and has turned out a very rich man because of the bribes, the extortion, and the downright payoffs he has gotten under the table illegally. And there's some things that I saw that I read from the three downloaded laptops of his son. There were three, not one. I interviewed the technician they are very incriminating, and there is a high probability that what they're after Trump in Florida for relative to refusal to turn over so-called classified documents that were placed under an act that under the theory of Marbury versus Madison, 1803, 221 years ago, were unconstitutional. And what the point was is to get them back from Trump so they could be destroyed and not incriminate Biden and Obama from what was on those laptops. So we have a witch hunt. We have a problem that is engendered by the DAs in question. Fannie Willis, we just got through talking to, having meetings in the White House going after somebody's very strong political opposition. We've got a situation down in Florida where somebody is trying to go against what the Supreme Court has already said in 1988 in the case of United States Department of the Navy versus Egan, E-G-A-N, which has multiple concurring opinions, and quite a few of them say there are no limits on what a president can classify or declassify or any limitations on how he chooses to do so, either openly by written order or by action. Individual like, like Fanny, who is jumped in here trying to do something. And we have another clown like this person right here who has no political science background, no law background, no political background, no economic background who is coming in to pontificate about somebody's wrong and who's racist. So every damn thing I've seen about Biden, and I've been, I'm have i not that far under him just a few years, what's going on is he has no qualifications to sit there and render anything other than an opinion generated by looking at the propaganda of the left of the Democratic Party plantation of which he is an enthusiastic member. So what he's saying about Trump being a racist versus somebody that for the last 50 years I have been hearing making one racist remark after another, I have had to deal with in the practice of defense law as somebody that was passing one bill after another making another element of criminal law against minorities based on nothing but racist premises. I've watched that for 45 years. 
So I see this clown sitting up there doing nothing else but that and then culminating it by having the audacity to say, if you don't vote for me, you're not black. So we have a handkerchief head house boy sitting up there trying to call somebody who has done more in a few years for black folk than this clown is done in his entire 50 and nowhere near as much damage. Hell, I thought the people that were in that Central Park fight should have been damn near crucified considering what they confessed to. And it wasn't like it got beat out of them. One of them got brought down by his father. And the police got confronted by the father and this person. And the dad said, this son of mine needs to make a confession to you. That's how it started. It was a pretty horrible crime. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at what this clown has been sitting out there, being tagged out there to be the monkey on a little chain and start talking smack that he has no expertise in. Right. So it is part of the game. It's part of this thing no, we it, saw let me, let four me interject. years ago. Let me say something. Let me say something. One I'm last not... little remark. What's, you got a polite version of take your booties to the pole. You're getting a singer coming on. He's got a right under the First Amendment to express his opinion. So do these clowns, including the one third of the cast that were trannies who were dancing half naked on the strip poles. They've got their right to do that as a form of expression. But that is insulting the black folk that they should be persuaded by it. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I do want to say this because um, that's the that's going to be the motto, I guess, to convince particularly people, particularly black people, that Trump is a racist. Because that's the only thing that, you know, they have to to go on and they're just going to ride that out. Um, so, you know, if we go into, and, and I look like, I look at it like this, you know, on the left side, you know, it's okay for them to call someone racist, but if the right side start calling people racist, then you want to label them as, you know, being bigots or whatever. So I think people just need to stop throwing or throwing, stop throwing race in it. Um, <laughs> Because it's 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 way it's, it has nothing to do with race. It really doesn't. And the more you, if you're voting that way, you know, um, then you don't know how politics work, right? But I'm gonna move on from that. Um, I want to last, please, brief comment. The unemployment rate for black folk was the lowest it's been since 1968 under Donald Trump. The earning capacity of black folk was the highest it's been since 1968 under Trump. The greatest amount of money percentage wise of the national budget and in actual dollars devoted to HBCUs since 1968 under the Johnson administration was under Donald Trump. And it goes on. He endorsed the platinum plan that uh, Ice Cube, who had made some study of the situation, was trying to work out with him. He... I don't want to go too much into Donald Trump. And the yeah. spy won't. But in spite of that, we've got this character I'm not, I'm not promoting Donald who is Trump. a disaster getting up there and trying to get us to accept this with his grin on his face when it is a complete lie. It's a propagandistic fabrication. And it is insulting to insinuate that we are fool enough to buy that. Mm -hmm.